If you want to quit your job cleaning up rhinoceros poop at the zoo or whatever it is that you got suckered into doing in order to fund your Pokemon addiction, and you like to be able to make $10,000 a month online working from home so you never have to talk to people again, I'm going to show you five ways that you can do just that. And any of these things you can learn within a matter of a few months and be far beyond 99% of the population, most of whom are spending their lives sitting around on their phones watching dancing videos on TikTok. So here are five ways to make $10,000 a month or more completely online. And as usual, I'm going to save my favorite for the last. The first one is SEO. That stands for Search Engine Optimization for any of you guys that are still living in the Stone Ages. And what that means is that you're helping companies to rank higher on Google. So when you search something on Google, that their page comes up towards the top of the list, right? Because as you probably figured out by now, Anything that's on page two of Google is pretty much invisible to everybody. Now, let's take a hypothetical example. Let's say that you're a business owner and you own an escape room, which, you know, for you boomers out there, an escape room is one of these silly places where you go and they lock you in a room and you have to solve a bunch of a bunch of puzzles in order to escape or else you're stuck in there forever and you starve to death. Something like that. Millennials think it's super cool. So anyway, let's say that you just opened an escape room and, you know, what's like the most up and coming city. Um, let's say Detroit. So when somebody Googles, goes into Google and searches escape room Detroit, then yours comes up in that top three that comes up on, on Google Maps and it shows, you know, your phone number and your address and you can click on the website, right? And so you're happy because everybody who's searching for escape room Detroit, it comes up with your website. But then let's say that 5,000 other escape rooms suddenly pop up because every millennial thinks it's cool to start an escape room. And now when somebody goes to search escape room Detroit, you're no longer on the top of the list. There's another three and you're not included. Well, let me ask you, what are you as a business owner going to be willing to do to get back onto that first page on Google? Obviously, the answer is anything. And so if you can find somebody with a special set of nerd skills that it takes to get you back on the first page of Google, you're going to be willing to pay handsomely for it. And so if you just so happen to be one of those nerds that has those skills that can get somebody ranked on the first page of Google, you are extremely valuable. And there's a whole bunch of boring, repetitive stuff that you have to do over and over if you're going to do this. But, you know, that's why there's sites like Upwork.com where you can just hire some teenager for a low price to do it for you. So that's the first skill, search engine optimization. This is good if you're a nerd. Second skill is social media algorithm hacking. I'm getting off the side of my whiteboard here. That says social media algorithm hacking. If you can't read my writing, then there's something wrong with you. Just kidding. As you know, most people are hopelessly addicted to sitting on their phone, scrolling through social media, looking at pictures of their friends who are richer, happier, and skinnier than them, and feeling bad for themselves. To be honest, I used to be in that boat too. I remember a time when I would I would be driving in the car and every single time I stopped at a red light, I pulled out my phone to check Instagram or Facebook or something. I'm not proud of it, but that was me at one point in my life. Thankfully, I'm recovered. But anyway, because so many people are on social media so much of the time, the attention of people on social media has become one of the most valuable commodities in the world where some of the richest people that are up and coming, especially young people, billionaires are the people that can get attention and hold it on social media. And so if you're somebody who can do that, if you can figure out how to hack the algorithms of social media, and generally the way that you do that is just by making stuff that's interesting people that people want to watch and then putting some kind of clickbaity headline and thumbnail thing that people will click on. If you'll figure that out, then you will be highly, highly valuable to all sorts of brands and influencers and everybody that wants to get famous on social media, which is, of course, everybody. And bonus points to you if you can figure out whatever is the, the newest, hottest feature on social media. So like right now, that's the Instagram reels and the TikToks and whatnot. Um, you know, that's probably going to be gone like two months from now. But for now, that's the newest, hottest thing. And you know how people love the newest and hottest thing. So if you can figure out that particular algorithm, how to get reels that people watch, then you're going to be super valuable. People pay you a lot of money for it.
And if you're interested, by the way, and you're not just watching this because you're bored and you actually like want to do some of this stuff, um, I have a guide to hacking algorithms as part of my monthly newsletter series. I'll put a link in the description if you're interested. Anyway, that's number two. Third high income skill to make $10,000 a month or more online is online sales. That's right, actually talking to people. So, you know, if you're if that scares you, then you can skip on to the next one. But this is for people who like actually talking to people, people who like other human beings. There are people like that in the world. So if you've ever seen those super annoying ads on YouTube that are saying you should be a high ticket closer, you can make 10,000 or more dollars a month online as a high ticket closer. I'm sorry to tell you this, but that's exactly true. You can make $10,000 a month or more as a high ticket closer, regardless of how annoying the ads may be. The reason for that is that there are a whole bunch of people that are out there that are selling high ticket coaching offers and high ticket other stuff offers and agency offers and whatnot. And they need to talk to people kind of face to face in order to make the sale. And most of these people are kind of misanthropes and they don't really want to be talking to people themselves. And so they hire salespeople to do it for them. So let me let me show you some numbers on that real quick just to show you this is real. So let's say it's a five thousand dollar offer right and and you get paid 10 percent commission well if you get paid um 10 commission right is 500 dollars. let's say that you make one sale per day right which is fairly reasonable and you work five days a week well now you're making 500 times five is 2500 dollars per week and then times four is for four weeks is guess what 10k per month right so and you know this is pretty conservative numbers you can make considerably more than that if you're really good at it so sorry to burst your bubble if you're one of those people that just looks at everything and says it's all a scam but it's real i can tell you from personal experience because i hire people to do this for me so that's number three online sales now let me ask you would you like to be able to annoy millions of people without ever actually having to talk to them if so then you're really going to like number four which is online advertising you know i remember i met a kid that was 19 years old a while ago who was already making over a hundred thousand dollars a year from his own business and that's what he was doing he had an online advertising agency where he was creating ads for businesses and you know he had had a mentor that was really good and got him up to speed fast he actually moved from i think it was from finland all the way to vancouver canada to work with this mentor and anyway but like i saw proof of it firsthand that this was working and it makes sense because online advertising is still new to most people right most people are not very fast to adapt to changes and the fact that online advertising is constantly changing if you're good at it and you keep up with it it's worth a lot of money especially when you consider that you're the one that's actually bringing in the sales right so you are very valuable to whoever you are working for if you're good at this and there are a whole bunch of cool tricks that you can do with online advertising that you can't do with traditional advertising. For example, because you're watching this video, you are now going to start to get bombarded with my ads. So gotcha. Nothing's free in life, buttercup. I own your soul now. But if you hit the like and the subscribe, then I might give it back to you. Anyway, that's a cool trick called retargeting, where you can give ads to people based on how they interacted with you in the past and obviously traditional advertising can't come close to doing anything like that so online advertising super valuable if you don't really like talking to people so that brings us to high income skill number five my personal favorite teaching okay i know what you're thinking teaching is a crap job where you deal with ungrateful brats all day who don't want to learn and then at night you take home papers to grade and you get paid very little for the privilege and probably you'd rather just keep your job cleaning up rhino poop i get it but hear me out here instead of teaching for some government indoctrination camp you're being your own school and you're teaching people a course online and something that's actually valuable to them and that they actually want to learn and then rather than the school or the government keeping all the money and just stealing tax money in order to pay for it well you're charging people directly and now you keep the money because you are the owner of the school it's a very nice business model because it doesn't take a whole lot of your time to run and there's very little expenses involved because you're doing it online you don't really have to pay for a building um, you don't have to pay for any kind of product you're just teaching 
So for example, let's say that you have a course that you sell for $1,000, just $1,000 one time price for your course and they get the whole thing. Well, in order to make $10,000 a month, all you have to do is sell 10 courses a month. Hopefully that wasn't too difficult for you math phobes out there. So anyway, sell for $1,000 a month, you might be asking, okay, well, what could I teach that's worth a thousand bucks a month? And that depends on you. Again, if you're just sitting around watching TikTok all day, then probably you don't know anything that's worth a thousand bucks a month and you should go learn something. But if you think about it, there's a whole bunch of stuff that's worth a thousand bucks at least to learn. I mean, if you could teach somebody to get a job that pays at least a thousand dollars more, that's worth a thousand bucks to learn. If you could teach somebody to lose 20 pounds, a lot of people would pay a thousand bucks for that. If you teach somebody how to improve their marriage, I mean, you know, if you're going to get divorced, it's going to cost you a whole lot more than a thousand dollars probably. If you can teach people how to keep their kids from turning into drug addicts, that's worth a thousand bucks. Heck, if you teach people how to start a goat farm and start selling goat milk on the farmer's markets and weekends, they'd pay a thousand bucks for that probably. In the grand scheme of things, a thousand bucks just really isn't that much. And again, if you can't think of anything to teach, then go learn something. Go read a few books on a subject, like find something that you would like to learn and learn it. Read some books, watch some videos, listen to some podcasts until you have a good idea of how to do that. And again, this is not difficult to do because 99% of people are just sitting around looking at their phone, watching dumb stuff on TikTok all the time. It's really, really easy to be exceptional these days because the bar is set so low. And if you've ever wondered why that is, why it seems like everybody's so brain dead these days, then check out this video. I'll explain exactly why that is. See ya.